Okay. Um. There we go. Okay. All right, Mr. Monroe. Um, we, we saw your your press release. Uh, you are uh, extremely concerned with, uh, with the matters of this this football this football field pro, uh, project. Yes. Um, give us your main takes on on where it stands right now and, and what you're concerned about. My main take is right now we we are being required to raise about four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and they've had this grant for like 18, 18 months prior to this date, and it's no way we can raise four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There's no way. So what what I don't want to do is I don't want the field to go away. The kids are excited. The new kids that want to come in are excited, and the bottom line is is, is we just want the field lady. It was some things done that, that, that should not have been done. It was some questions that should should have been asked that were not asked. And now we're at a point where the kids and the school may lose the field. Yeah, tell us, so there's a timeline for this? There's a deadline for this? From what we understand, they have until May. We have until May to raise this money or we lose the field and we lose a grant that came with the field. You have a problem with the way that the grant uh, was was awarded and, and the stipulations in it. No, I actually don't have a problem with it. I have okay. a problem with the fact that we were not informed properly that this was a matching grant. Okay. We we didn't know as a community, as alumni base, that we needed to match the four hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. That was never really relayed to us. Oh well, it was on a website. How many of us actually go to your website? You should have had a community meeting to allow us you know, the opportunity to know that this was going on. And we just didn't know about the $450,000 matching grant. And we had to raise that amount of money. Uh, and in the press release, you called uh, Mr. Davis a manipulator and a liar. Oh, no doubt. Carl Davis is a manipulator and a liar. When we've tried to communicate with Mr. Davis over the last few months, he's ignored the calls. Uh, uh, Quentin Smith has tried to reach out to him through emails. He's ignored the emails. He'll show up at the, at the school antagonizing the principal. You know, and if you have nothing to hide, why are you doing all this stuff? Quentin, let me let me add you in on this. I mean, give give me your take on on, on the progress of this this project. It's slow. It's at a turtle's pace right now, and all of a sudden, you know, I went to meeting last week, you know, last Thursday, and you find out a lot more information that they haven't disclosed. And now you know, process that you have for five months literally to get this done and you know I know a little bit more about the, the grant part of it uh, just because of my experience and my background but it wasn't told to everybody that needs to donate or they were trying to get money from how it, what, what was needed and, and that has become a problem now and so now all of a sudden we're in scramble mode to get something done and Mid that's unfortunate we spoke to Mr. Davis about 30 minutes before we spoke to you yeah and uh, he said that there was just overall a lack of unity from the from this school's community on getting this done together. What's your take on that? Uh, it's hard to have unity when you're not invited. You know, I spoke with him year, over a year and a half ago, almost a year and a half ago now, and we had some different difficult conversations. Um, and I was never invited to a meeting. You know, and that's okay. You know, I was invited last week, but it wasn't by him. I was invited by someone else. And I went to the meeting, and I sat and I listened to what the concerns were, what people had, the questions that were asked and all of that. And I asked my questions. And some they had answers to, some they didn't have answers to. So now it's in a mode where you've had information for, since last April, that you have to use one vendor. And one vendor is you know, twice as much as the other vendor. So now you have to raise twice as much money to do that. You know, a couple of months ago, about six weeks ago, you had a sign that said the construction was about to start. But no authorization to do that. And so uh, one of the school board members made a phone call to the HSD attorney, and the next day the sign was gone. So, but no one knew what the sign was. You know, so it, it's a difficult situation because you want to feel for the kids. They deserve it. The school deserves it. The school, in three years, will be 100 years old. It's been the winningest football program in the entire history. The kids deserve that. And we don't want to lose this opportunity to get the field uh, because of what was not done uh, 
the legwork wasn't done properly. Let me jump back in with you, Mr. Miller. Give me your take on what he said. You know, the it, fact that there's just not enough people unified in this, in this area. I mean, I'm a guy that's around Jack Yates maybe five, five, four to five days out of a week. I'm here all the time. Whether it's to help mentor kids who have actually helped me go back to, to college and now I'm six classes away from getting my degree. You know, I'm here all the time. If you scream Yates, I'm coming. If you scream Yates to Quentin, he's coming. You'd never scream to us. You'd never scream to our alumni base. I hated five team. We're like brothers. So if it's concerning this school and you put the word out, we're coming. It's not about unity, it's about selfishness. It's about a man who had something that he thought in the end was gonna make him some money. You feel what I'm saying? And now you need excuses as to why this has not been done. You don't have a capital gains you know, program in place to raise this type of money. And you've been sitting on this grant for 18 months. You never told us it was a matching grant. So how could we come together with you when you never told us you needed to help? So there's, you know, now you have a matter of months now. Yep. About to approach a difference, the last, the last semester of the academic year. What do you want to see done? What I want to see done is right now, we got to figure out how to make wine out of water. We got to get this done for these kids. It's, it'll be a bunch of let down kids if this doesn't happen. So. I am putting out an APB. I'm putting out a signal of distress to the Houston Independent School District. The same thing that you did for the kids at Bel Air. When they needed an additional $2 million for a baseball field that nobody else can play on. According to what we understand, this is a community field that anybody can play on. I need HISD to show me that equity exists. Come through the door and help us with this project. Help us, As, I'm not demanding that they do anything because HISD has done nothing wrong in this process. But I'm asking you to come through the same way you did for those children. Your children down here need you right now. And we need them to step up to the plate and help us get this goal accomplished. What about you? Just that, I mean, we, we, we treat everybody fairly. You know, if the process can work, to get the grant done for master grant and then have the field installed. We just want the field done. You know, I, I don't, you know, the naming of it is, is never went through the board last year, which is a whole different issue, a whole different sort of circumstances that came about that. We're not concerned about that. You know, that's a different issue. But we're concerned about having the field laid and those kids have the opportunity. That kids have the opportunity to get out. guys playing in on film. There's no other high school in the city of Houston that can say that. There's probably not in the country that can say that. But we just want it where the kids can have it and they can go to the Once it gets laid, then we'll worry about what's, what comes after that. You know, but right now, we just have to get that the ball rolling to get that field down. I'll, I'll, I'll say one more thing. I asked him, you know, based off of what he told me, I asked him, why does he think that there's such uh, a lack of, of, like he said, unity in getting this done. He said some people would rather kill something than build something. I don't think you're standing here talking to two people that want to kill anything. Okay. If that if that was thrown our way, we don't want to do that. I mean, we fought together on that same on that field like that. We want to stay championship together on that field like that. Why would we want to kill it? But we need it done. There has been tons of money made off of Jack A. Senior High School. Nobody has a problem, whether it's district officials, fans, or whatever, showing up when you're selling out the Frank Irwin Center in Austin. Nobody has a problem when we're in Barnett Stadium for homecoming and we're selling out that stadium. You know, all we're asking is for a little help to get this done. And as I said, and, and you may cut this out, Carl Davis is a snake. He knows what he's done. Quentin is the nice guy. I'm not. And if it was left up to me, I would gut him across the board and throw all his business in the street. But at the same time, I can push that aside. I can work with anybody for the betterment of this project so that we can get it done for these children. I got something for you. Um, Go ahead, Chief. 
Uh, thank you for bringing that up, Mr. Quinn. This is the most winningest program in HISD. I mean, wouldn't that give extra incentive to them, especially oh, since we're uh, to HISD to improve the field, especially since we're right across the street from U of H? Wouldn't they want to better those kids, help these kids get to there, get you know, to U of H? Um, I can't speak for you know the, the betterment or anything like that. I, I just think that the school deserves it. The consortium went out and they applied for the grant. They got the grant. Okay, so now the process of the grant may be flawed. Okay, and that's okay. But you know the grants are the way they're, they're written, the way that they're written. Um, but I, I think ultimately Gates High School is an HISD facility. So anything that has to be done inside those gates, HISD, you know, has a say so in it. You have to go to their proper channels and all of that. So yes, it looks great on the HISD field to have a text uh, turf given to them from the use of Texas. So yeah, from that standpoint, it, it looks great to have that. And to put it at this facility would be perfect because we are the one that has, you know, prior to the last 10 years or so, this has been the team, the school that's been notab notab notable for winning in football for the last, you know, 60, 70, 80 years. So, but yeah, it, it's, it's, this is the place that should be. If you're going to put an NFL uh, given uh, turf, this is the facility that it should be at. And to let people know that the current field that's out there, there's no way to water it. Something's wrong with the water line. The field hasn't been watered in over three years. It's as hard as concrete. You see what I'm saying? And it's not fair that those kids have to go out there and not be able to practice on a decent field. On top of that, they made the playoffs, uh, but the week that they were getting ready for their playoff game, they had to practice in the parking lot in the back on the cement because they don't have lights on their field. There are several schools that don't have lights on their field, but those schools happen to af actually be predominantly African-American and Latino. So these schools don't have the adequate facilities that the average parent would want to send their child to, and that field would be a major upgrade but I'm sort of like Quentin. For 60, 70 years, it's been Jackie H football. And I think after 60 or 70 years, we deserve this field, and we're just asking HISD for some help. Uh, Quentin, give us your last name real quick. Smith. Quentin Smith. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Can I, can I just get you both to say and spell your names for me? My name is Gary Monroe, G-E-R-R-Y-M-O-N-R-O-E. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Quentin Smith, Q-U-I-N-T-I-N Smith. Okay, perfect. And how are you guys in, involved in this? Just uh, former former students? Former, uh, how, former, how, how, uh, how should we uh, identify you? I played on the, uh, members of the state championship team in 1985. So, yeah. so you got a couple of state champions standing up for the future of Jackie Ace football. Thank you, gentlemen. No problem. Guys, thank you. Sorry, oh, guys, my brother. Being tired. I was, That's down okay. to, I was down at the other end. That's